Hello and welcome back to the third and last tutorial about sales order management in SAP Process Automation. In this video I will show you how to release, deploy and run the process you've built in the previous videos. You have finished building your process and it's free of errors. Now it's ready to be released. All you have to do is click on the release button on the top right corner. To keep track on the progress of the process and to prevent confusion about updates, each released version of your process will have a unique version number. Since this is the first release, it's 100. Add a version comment if you want and click on release. If you want to make changes, simply go back into the editable version. If you then release this modified version, you will be asked to choose one of these three options. Dependent on the significance of the changes, the first, second or third version number will increase by one. Here, I highly recommend noting down the nature of the changes made into the version comment. The project released successfully and is ready to be deployed. You can deploy business process projects from each released version of the project in the process builder or through the lobby. Make sure the correct version is selected and click on deploy. Great, the process is up and running. Let's test out what we have built here by triggering the process manually. Navigate to the trigger. To keep it simple, we'll stick to using the link in this tutorial, so go ahead and copy it. The trigger could also be configured as a tile in the SAP Fury Launchpad with this parameter. Paste the link into a new tab and fill out the form. I've already prepared this here. I'll add an order amount over a thousand because I want the decision to be triggered. Click on Submit. Then, back in the lobby, navigate to your inbox. You can see all your tasks on the left side. You have the option to search for tasks, refresh the list, to sort, to filter or to group them. You can also display the workflow log, which reveals all the process steps up to this point. As an approver, you can read through the details, tick the acknowledgement box, type in a message and finally click on approve or reject. Refresh the task list if necessary and you can see the order confirmation appear in your inbox. Click on Submit and the task disappears from the list. The last thing I want to show is the monitoring capability of SAP Process Automation. You can find detailed information about each of your running instances here. This includes error messages, context and the execution log, which lets you retrace each step of the process. If something isn't working out like you think it would, this is the place to check first. You have the option to show subflow instances, show tasks, suspend and terminate the process instance here. We're at the end of this tutorial now. Thank you for coming along on this journey to build your first process with SAP Process Automation. I hope you enjoyed it and that you can utilize this knowledge you gained to realize your own projects and processes in the future. Goodbye.